Peep this out, guys. It's Ian K back again with another one for you. The live stream is in effect, guys. Happy pre-gobble gobble to everybody on the stream right now. Let me make sure that everything is looking good and sounding good. Want to make sure that you guys can see me and hear me okay. So far, it looks like it is coming through okay on my end. You guys let me know. Drop some comments over here in the chat thread. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay, if everything is looking clean and sounding clean. And uh, we'll get right into it here. So let's see what we've got going. We've got everybody in effect here right now. Everything okay? We got Bus. Bus is giving me the thumbs up. That must means everything is good. Great to see you guys on here. Excellent. Derek Levesque, thanks so much. We'll go down the line here in just a bit. And uh, we'll see how uh, everybody is doing from the top of the hour. But I wanted to jump right into the review, guys. It's been a while since we did a live review. And I figured I would do something that wasn't going to be like chips or Oreos or anything like that at all. So... Uh, first of all, let me welcome you guys to the live stream. For those of you who may just happening uh, upon my channel, my name is Ian K, creator, producer, and host of Peep This Out Reviews here on YouTube. Uh, definitely having a blast doing what I do. What I think is some pretty high-quality food reviews. I try and do the best I can, obviously, and we'll get into all that good stuff. 
um, as well. But definitely have a look around the channel while you're watching this right now. And hopefully you'll like, share, comment, and subscribe. Preferably subscribe, of course, and then share this channel out with all the peeps that you know because we definitely have a good time here. That is for sure. So guys, without further ado, let's jump on into the review. I wonder if you guys can guess what it is. Let me switch on over to my main screen and then we'll get right into it. Here we go. All right, guys, Taco Bell in effect. We spare no expense. We're going in for some rolled tacos, guys. Rolled chicken tacos right now here. Now, for those of you who may not know, and if you guys have actually been on my channel already, um, I've actually done this review many, many times, at least on my own, as well as actually officially here on the channel. If you guys take a look at the description box down below, you're probably going to find a link to my original review way back in 2014, if you guys can believe this. Rolled chicken tacos from Taco Bell. Essentially, it's shredded white meat chicken on the inside of a corn tortilla. Now, if you ask me, that's a taquito. If I'm not mistaken, that's a taquito. But they're marketing it as rolled chicken tacos. I did this about three years ago. It didn't come out in 2014, actually 2015, but then 2016 they brought it back and I passed on it. But I figured, you know what, for the live stream, for the day before Gobble Gobble, I thought we'd do something kind of poultry related. So it's not quite turkey, but it's the next best thing. It's chicken. So let me get into this for you guys and see what you guys think. Does it look any different than a taquito to you? Drop those comments down below. And of course, I'm actually going to be making this stream available on my main channel. Right after this is done, I'm going to format it so you guys will find it on my main channel here. You guys can take a look at everything that's in the chat thread. I'll be going back on it myself here in a bit. But take a look at the rolled chicken taco, guys. Essentially, it is a deep fried corn tortilla with some shredded white meat on the inside. Now, because I have got a lot of expensive equipment around me, I am going to put a napkin right above my keyboard here and I'm going to split this down the middle and let you guys get the first crack. So let's do this up close and let's peep this out because you know I'm all about those close-ups guys. You know this already. Oh, not bad. Not too bad for crumbs. There we go. A few. Have a look on the inside. A decent amount of shredded white meat chicken and uh, it may have a little bit of something else in terms of spices if I remember correctly here. I'm not sure what I actually gave this review wise in terms of a score the last time. Uh, but let's just give this a shot. For those of you who are curious to know, my dipping sauce of choice is always going to be their premium guac. And I got to say, I really like the guacamole at Taco Bell. Um, tasty stuff here. And even though it's got little bits of tomato on the inside, it is what it is. $1.99 for two of these rolled chicken tacos. $3.99 for four of them. So essentially a dollar a piece. Let me try this by itself. And then we'll go for the dip, dip, a dunk, a dunk on the inside of the guacamole. So here we go. The Rolled Chicken Tacos 2017 edition live right now on Peep This Out Reviews. It's a taquito. <laughs> have a look on the inside again. I know it's not going to focus too much because I have a light on it, but a little on the dry side. I got to be honest, guys. Wow. That was kind of dry. Let me bust a little Dunkin' Donuts. I'll tell you a story about this afterwards here. I'm not sure how good coffee goes with that, but actually, Dunkin' is always good. All right. A little dry. Let's give it a shot with the guac. The light is kind of dulling out the greenness of it here, but this really is a nice Hulk green, if you will. Looking pretty nice there. I'm trying to hold it back so you can see. It is pretty nice and creamy. Um, let's give this a shot with the premium guacamole, the rolled chicken tacos here at uh, on Peep This Out Reviews live. Mm. there's the moisture not bad not bad again guys just a chicken taquito is essentially what this is but i like it i like it tasty okay fast review of the rolled chicken taco i don't remember what i gave it in 2014 but let me just say for what it is it's okay I think it depends upon your sauce of choice. You can get a spicy ranch to go with it. Nacho cheese is available as well as the premium guac. Um, I think spicy ranch would probably be better with this personally. But I like the guacamole. That's one of the reasons I got it. And I think I reviewed it with guacamole the first time around. You guys can hit that link down below and, uh, and check it out there. Bomb Sexy Fear Face Scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to go like a, like a seven, seven, seven and a half or so. I mean, it, it's okay. I mean, it's it's a taquito. If you guys like fried taquitos, which essentially that's a taquito, it's fried anyway. Um, this really is kind of like an in-between type of product for Taco Bell right now. 
So I think it's a holdover until next month, whenever they come out with hopefully something to end out the year with a bang. Um, but being that these come back every so often, it's like a seven, seven and a half. You can actually get this with a drink for like four ninety nine. Like for a dollar over the four, you get a drink with it there. So you get like, you know, your choice for a buck. Um, so it's not horrible. But again, a little dry on its own. Texture is nice. The crunch is nice. Of course, it's deep fried. And the size is not bad either uh, for what they are here. And again, you do get two of them for $1.99. So in terms of the value, it's just okay. I believe this was the same price point a few years back as well. So not bad for a snack. Um, I'm seeing a quick uh, comment over here from Buzz, definitely. For a good snack, I mean, it's a nice little drive through quickie to get yourself something there. And obviously, you've got some choice dipping sauces. If you get the $3.99 version, you get your choice of two dipping sauces. So I would probably recommend, I don't think nacho cheese with that would be the way to go. I mean, their cheese is okay anyway. But I think the guacamole and the spicy ranch are definitely going to be the ones you're going to want to get there. But overall, seven, seven and a half or so. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'll have to go back and kind of rewatch my review that I did before. I did a real quick cut and paste of my link down below when I did this here. So um, it is what it is. So for those of you guys tuning in just for the review of the rolled chicken taquitos, tacos, <laughs> quote unquote, here on the channel here. This is going to end that portion of it there. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in for that. As always, my name is Ian K. I've got content that's brand new every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon, because there's always something coming real soon, we'll definitely talk to you next time. Stay frosty. All right. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Let me jump back on over to the main screen and we will continue on. All right. So I've got my chat thread up over here. And... Uh, Guys, it's great to see all of you officially here. It's been, uh, it's been a minute here. So sorry about last week. Um, crazy situations right now, especially with the holidays right around the corner. Again, a very happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. For those of you who may have seen my most recent review from Johnny Rockets, um, which was actually a really tasty chicken sandwich. The Chipotle chicken sandwich that they have as part of their holiday 2017 menu is ridiculously excuse me, delicious and totally, totally on point. Um, but craziness going on uh, in my world right now. So uh, last minute situations last week and now I'm finally getting my life kind of in order with things. So I really was looking forward to getting back and doing this officially. Believe it or not, I actually wanted to do this um, a little bit earlier this afternoon and I did log in initially to test the connection over at my Dunkin' Donuts because I wanted to do an on location. Hence my drink that I've got here. This is pretty much from a few hours ago which is still lasting pretty nicely there. It's uh for mocha and my own bit of cream that I put in here, a little bit of extra Splenda. So I'm a little bit high on sugar right now. Um, but it is actually pretty tasty. But I was there earlier, and uh, it didn't go very well. So I decided to try and jump on mobile, but then nobody was there. So I figured something got caught in the system. It is what it is. And um, decided to put out something on Instagram and Twitter, letting you guys know, hey, I'm going to be on here tonight for the pre-gobble gobble. I wanted to jump on and wish all of you guys a very happy Thanksgiving and uh, catch up with all of you guys. So... Let me jump in here and see who we've got on here quickly here. There's a lot of you guys. So if I don't get to every single one of you, please do understand that I love and appreciate every single one of you. And naturally, you're going to see all of your comments rolling here. Um, so you'll be able to see your name in the lights there. But Dilbert Doe, in effect, always, pretty much always one of the first ones. Vengeance Rises 96. And that's Cervantes. Nice to see you on here. We've got Kyle, Mike E, Derek Levesque. Uh, we have got Hedwig, etc., etc., which, by the way, Samuel L. Jackson just finished filming his portion for Glass, which is the third movie in that quote-unquote Unbreakable trilogy, which, uh, not spoiler alert for most of you who've seen, Split already, that essentially was kind of the second one in a way. Uh, Sydney Forrester, nice to see you on here. Rise, Kuk uh, Kujikawa, uh, Bus, always. Nice to see you guys on here. I love all the familiar faces and all the new people that we have here, too. Thank you so much. If you guys can share this out with your, all the peeps that you know, that would be amazing. And, of course, if you guys like what you see, because I definitely try and do the best I can for you guys, um, definitely please share this out with everybody that you know, and let's, uh, let's keep that moving along. Uh, let's see. I'm going to scroll down the line here. Let the, the, the rise doesn't think that the taquitos from a gas station they, they look worse than a they look worse than a taquito from a gas station. Well, it is what it is. Maldito, let's peep this out. <laughs> it's great to be on here with you guys. Everybody ready for the food coma that will be uh, tomorrow? I know a lot of you guys are probably looking forward to it as well. I know I am. Philly feet, what up? What up? Happy holidays to you and yours. Same to all of you guys. Go Eagles. <laughs> Back East in effect, you know. Uh, let's see. Annette, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Wow. 
I would have to say, aside from dark meat turkey, which I just, that's kind of my favorite, um, pretty much just like a garlic mash, garlic like mashed potatoes, uh, stuffing. I'm, I kind of like the side dishes, to be honest with you. I'm not really a green beans fan. I'm not really into that, even though the creaminess and the mixture, um, it's kind of like a meaty texture, kind of does it for me a little bit there, but I'm not a super fan of green beans in general. But anything to mask the flavor of raw green beans, even when they're cooked, I'm okay with there. But pretty much stuffing, mashed potatoes, and dark meat turkey, uh, for sure. So, Bus, what's your story on Dunkin' Donuts? Okay, that was that, uh, <laughs> mentioned it earlier. So while I was there, just so you know, I got all set up. I had my table set up, I had everything ready to go, I had my camera set, and uh, right when I did a speed test there, on my phone, it was actually faster than their Wi-Fi. So for some reason, I thought I was actually on their Wi-Fi when I was there, because I have the auto switch over. So when I ran the test on their, uh, their Wi-Fi connection, my download speed was ridiculously fast, but my upload was like less than a megabyte. And I'm like, dude, I can't even get 720p out of this. But let me just try it, right? So I tried it and everything was choppy. The sound was okay, but it just, it was hanging. So I killed it real quick and it is what it is. So, but it's great to be back here in this environment. I've got my kick-ass connection going here. We're good and uh, everything is good there. Vengeance, have I seen the new Punisher series? I have not. I have not. This whole week, I have not done anything except all of my stuff outside of here um, and just crazy family drama. I got to be honest with you. There's a lot of family drama going on right now. So I'm trying to um, work with some other family to try and fix a, a few things here. So <laughs> it is what it is. When you're responsible in life with some things, sometimes um, you hope that most of your other family is the same way. But unfortunately, it, it is what it is. So Anyway, let's go down the line here and see what we've got here. Vinny's plan have tried Dickie's barbecue pit. They have ribs and brisket. Absolutely. I've done actually, I've tried Dickie's um, unofficially on some of the food um, festivals that I've done in the past. So if you guys have seen my videos on the taste of Arcadia, um, the taste of Old Town Monrovia, take a look at those videos um, and you'll find a segment there where I've tried a few of the things that they've offered. But I know their stuff is really good and one of these days I should do a regular um, review from them just like an official review so we'll have to see about that for sure uh let's see going down here da, 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 da. says yeah major lag in the previous stream rise you already know absolutely absolutely crazy nick so ian it is what it is that's very true <laughs> in just about everything in life it is what it is you gotta do the best you can with what you got that's for sure uh, da, 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 da. Justin, peep this out, Ian. I found you from a cringe, a cringe comp. Was that cringe compilation? And I'm hooked on your videos now. You the man. Thank you so much, Justin. Thank you so much. I have not seen any cringe compilations with me in it. It's usually a lot of my other peeps that I've known for a long time who a little bit more established, maybe. Um, if you want to send me that link, I'd love to see it. <laughs> that would be cool. Just drop it as a comment on my most recent video there, Justin, and uh, I would love to check out and see uh, what supposedly a cringe comp has uh, with me going over there. Uh, let's see. Fatface50, who is your personal favorite food reviewer? Oh, you know, I get that question a lot, and I got to be honest. I am a fan of a lot of them on the, um, on the channel because I know many of them. Um, so I'm a fan of a lot of channels out there, all the same ones that you probably watch. So I can't say that I have a favorite. Um, but I just know that I really am a fan of the style of each and every one of the ones that I do watch. I don't have a specific one that I gravitate towards. I just like watching the design choices on why some of the things are the way they are, um, why some of the things are said the way that they are, and how they're done. I kind of look at it that way. Um, but I can't say I have a specifically uh, a favorite food reviewer. But I know a lot of them, and they're all, all the ones that I know, fortunately, are just really good people. And I'm really very happy um, that that's the case. So what you typically see on the videos is usually how they are off camera. And that's how it should be because I think if you're genuine in your craft, if you're, if you're a genuine individual, just in general, if I can say it that way, that just comes out pretty naturally there. You don't want to like have that whole persona of your favorite movie star you know, be destroyed because you meet them and they're just a jerk to you in public, you know? Or you see somebody and... You know, you think that they're one way because you associate the character on the screen with their personality, but you know they're not like that because obviously with all the crazy scandal in Hollywood right now, with all the allegations being coming out and people like losing their jobs over things and, and you know, I don't have to go any further than that. You know, it's obvious that the people who we really like in the movies are not necessarily who they are in real life because who they are in real life is unfortunately what's uh, on display right now and it's really sad. I got to say it's... People are being destroyed left and right. When you see when you see somebody 
you know, insinuated in a way online or on CNN or when they break the story of so-and-so was assaulted by this person, then you know they're fired, they're gone. At this stage of the game, if you're, it's like the kiss of death. Just know the next day, contract's terminated, the person's gone. So it is crazy watching that on the news. I got to be honest there. So all of that off of who's your favorite personal food reviewer? <laughs> this is why I love live streamings because the conversation can go any which way. I'm going to go back down the line here. Morgan, do you like cats? Yes, I love cats. Absolutely. Actually, I love all animals. I got to be honest. I'm always sending cat and dog and puppy pictures to my wife. And I know that's kind of like, you know, a weird thing to say, I guess, just out loud because I'm a dude. But hey, I'm a sensitive guy and I love animals and just a huge fan of uh, animals in general. Just so you know, and and most of you guys should know this, like a dog in particular, that is the only animal on the planet that actually loves you more than themselves. Think about that. It is really, that's ultimately true. It really is. Who's the most excited to see you when you get home after a long day? You want to say your significant other, right? <laughs> but technically, it's your uh, your pet. <laughs> Fat face, great answer. Was there a particular food reviewer who inspired you to make videos? Sorry if the question is similar. No, actually, you know what? I got to say, I, I do get that question a lot. And, and one of the first people that I actually initially started watching um, was Joey from Joey's World Tour, KBD Productions TV. Um, I just noticed two very different ends of the spectrum there. I don't have to go into any more detail than that because for most of you guys who know Ken Domic, who's a buddy of mine who I know as well as Joey who I know as well, they definitely have a different angle for doing what they do and they do it very well. So I love the idea of, the, of food reviewing and things like that, just in general reviewing online. And being that I'm a technical guy, I wanted to incorporate a little bit of my background from broadcast journalism um, into what I do here. So I try. I have a little bit of a different slant on it. You guys may have seen from my videos, I tend to be a little bit more journalistic. I try and get the information as correct as possible. Um, the nutritional information, because I'm very big on that in terms of health. Um, I used to be a very overweight kid, and so I'm a little bit more conscious of those things. And as I'm getting older, I just think it's more important to be anyway. So it's a matter of having that balance. But watching Joey, watching uh, Ken, and then kind of dovetailing out from there, and eventually, of course, Dame Drops, who I've seen. I think everybody has. Um, and then all the quote unquote, you know, the wave of food reviewers that were becoming so huge at the time, just in terms of popularity. Um, that's one of the things that I've been kind of gravitating towards. And at the same time, kind of carving out my piece of the pie um, and doing what I do. And I've been so fortunate to work with a lot of the people in the community and, and to really um, be connected that way. So I'm a fan of these guys just as much as you are. Um, and I just have a, have a blast doing it there. But I got to be honest, the main reason that I love doing this, aside from the creative aspect of it there and giving you a beginning, a middle, and an end for every review that I do is that I get to interact with you guys on a daily basis. And I make every effort to, at some point within the week of releasing reviews that I do, you know, really answering a whole bunch of comments and really getting in there and trying to do as much as I can and give back to you as much as possible. So the way that I am on camera is the way that I am in real life. I'm, there's really no difference. How I speak in real life is what you see on the camera. Um, and my whole idea of how I look at this type of thing um, means a lot to me. And I, I consider it a privilege to be able to do this, to be honest. It really is something else to really create and put something out there and have an effect on somebody, either negative or positive, you know, I didn't want to lead with negative first, but typically, you know, there are going to be more haters in the world that I think they're going to try and come at you initially. But ultimately, you have more positive people that outweigh that all the time. The amount of negative comments that I get on my stuff that get flagged and never get seen that I eventually go to maybe once a month to see what's there and then I just get rid of them. Um, those far um, are, are far less compared to the positive stuff that I see from you guys. So I think I'm on the right track. And if you guys can let me know, you know, drop those comments down below there and we'll... Uh, go from there. So I'm going to scroll on down and answer a few more. Sorry, I went on a little bit of a tangent there. It's been a while since I talked to you guys. Brandon Olson, what's the origin of saying peep this out? You know, if you do a search on the peep this out playlist, um, peep this out announcements playlist that I have set up on my channel, take a look at my 100 subscriber, 100 video, 1000 subscriber video, I think is what it was there. I actually have a little bit of acting that I did with my wife at the time to tell you how the peep this out saying and the whole idea of the channel came to be. So I'll leave that little nugget in there for you so you can check that out. But it was actually fun to do that. Um, and every so often I kind of come back to that one. Uh, da, 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 fat face 50. Joey's world tour is great. He's a cool guy. Joey Hernandez, Joseph Hernandez is a cool guy. He really is. Um, da, 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 da. Going down... 
Derek Levesque, I don't mind Ken, I just don't care for getting drunk on live streams for money. You know, I was on one of his live streams recently where that was kind of happening there, there, and I donated to uh, his channel because it's all about, you know, you know, trying to help out on Super Chat. You know, if, you, if you're really a fan of your creators, it's always nice to receive those things. Um, I'm a little on the fence with trying to maybe kind of insinuate stuff like that. I think it should be a little organic. Um, but, you know, the idea of doing those types of things, those are the directions that some of those channels do. And I, I love Matt over at Reckless Eating and watching his stuff there. I think it's hilarious, the stuff that he does. Um, I don't know if I could get to that point to do something like that. But naturally, it's great to contribute, um, you know, if you really feel the, uh, the urge to um, online there. I know with all the craziness with Adpocalypse and all the stuff with demonetization going on, um, which is hitting me with pretty much every video until I actually have to submit to have it looked at. And then, of course, it's fine and everything is good. But, you know, I'm not going to let that dissuade my, my pleasure of doing these things because I, I love putting content together. So I, I look forward to it and I hope you guys do as well. Um... Hey, Ian, how's the progress with making people mods for your streams? Hey, if you want, I could be a mod too. You know, so far, it seems to be uh, moving along. i got to be honest, I'm trying to uh, find somebody that I know um, to moderate some of these things. But lately, we've been kind of managing it okay. I know we occasionally get a, a few uh, interesting folks that love to try and post things for attention. Um, but as long as it doesn't get too crazy there, I never acknowledge those things because I never want to give it power. And if you notice any of the comments on my videos, I do the same thing. So it's best for you guys um, to do that as well, because the moment somebody acknowledges it, then those people have won and they've gotten their point across. So, Derek wants to see a picture of me as a fat kid. Maybe on the future stream, I'll dig one up for you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Jen C. Molina, have I tried hot cocoa Oreos? I haven't tried them just yet, but I, I, they, they're in my store right now. I can get them. I was thinking about that for tonight, but I got to be honest, I think it's been done to death already. Um, and I'm not super interested to get just another quote unquote chocolate cream marshmallow flavor type of thing and i know i'm not not going to finish those so i decided to pass on it there but like i said i wanted to really give you guys a little bit of something so we got a little bit of mainstream action tonight with the taco bell rolled chicken tacos here digo great to see you again as well thank you so much for jumping on great to see you guys on here guys i'm going to be on for another 10 15 minutes here as well it's uh, one of those evenings here, obviously, right before Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are ready for Black Friday because a lot of sales are going to be going online 9 p.m. tonight Pacific time, midnight back east, and then officially uh, at midnight on Friday. So I'm looking forward to that. This is kind of like my, uh, my Christmas time, personally. I don't really buy a lot of things throughout the year, but this time of the year, excuse me, I'm, always, uh, I'm all about it. So uh, I'm super looking forward to what's going to be online. I'm going to stock up on a few games that I missed. Um, as well, too. So we'll have to see uh, what's going on there. Let's see. Bus driver, have I tried the ghost pepper chips? You know what? Actually, bus, I have in the past. Um, I do actually have, I believe, a ghost pepper review from um, from the chips. Well, not necessarily the one chip challenge. Um, that's something I would like to try, to be honest with you there. I saw the, uh, the segment where Shaq got all caught up there, <laughs> which was pretty fun. But I have to see about um, trying to find that down there. Uh, let's see. Neon, I'm always broke for Black Friday. <laughs> I always make it work either way. Always make it work. Yeah, Black Friday, I am super excited about it. I've got all of my stuff on my wait list on Amazon, all the ones that I've been watching. I'm on the IGN site. Um, I've got all the stuff that I'm going to be looking forward to getting there. I'm trying to attempt to pull the trigger on the Xbox One X because I have the original Xbox One that I actually um, did an unboxing on back in 2013 along with the PS4 about a month later. That was an expensive couple of months right there at the time, but tempted, very, very tempted um, at the same time. Let's see, Darren Brown, what are the dips? Guacamole, which is what we did here, if that's what you're meaning there, from there. We've got the nacho and then the uh, spicy ranch for those rolled chicken tacos. We have to see. Uh, Eric's got, oh, you got the Xbox One X, beautiful, beautiful. And a TCL 607 TV, nice, nice. Yeah, now is the time of the year. If you guys are in the market for a 4K TV, um, this is the time to do it. There's some ridiculous sales right now. I was at Best Buy a couple of days ago, just kind of casually perusing the aisles there, and they are stocked already. Crazy prices. I probably could have done something then, but I've got a 70-inch uh, sharp 3D TV from a few years ago that I absolutely love, and I, I cherish it. It's cleaned all the time. Um, it's just absolutely the center of my entertainment center there, obviously, because it's the TV. Um, so I'm in no need for uh, anything higher than that. But I know that higher frame rates, better uh, upscaling resolution... Um, with the uh, Xbox One X, obviously, would really help. So any multi-party or multi-system um, games um, would be the ones to get uh, the Xbox One X version there, as opposed to the exclusives being on PS4 originally. 
I mean, it used to be easy. If you want the higher res gaming, you're going to want to go PS4. If you wanted something, you know, with Xbox Live, if you're familiar with that format, I think that's the premier online environment for uh, console gaming. Um, I was with Xbox since the very beginning. I beta tested Xbox, the very first system in the beginning as well. I was one of the early beta testers for Xbox Live way back in the day, and I've had a subscription ever since, like the last 15, 16 years. It's crazy how much time has gone by, but a huge fan, huge fan of that. Uh, let's see. God, my chat thread is slowing up here just a little bit, but hopefully you guys are catching up on everything here. RDR Food Reviews. What it do, man? Great to see you on here. Uh, don't do the one chip challenge. <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We did the roll tacos tonight, though. So, again, I'm going to have this, uh, this chat thread. I don't want to make it too long, this video, because I don't want anyone to be dissuaded when they jump onto my channel and see, like, an hour-plus long stream as the main video. But you will have this um, live stream available to you there as soon as this video is uh, complete and I have it in the bag. I will definitely have this out for you guys a little bit later on tonight. So let's see what we've got here. Phineas Flynn has got a PS4. Very nice. Very nice. Philly Feet, I, have, I always hate Black Friday because I have to work. It's, so, it's cool though. It is. It definitely is. Yeah, Eric, I'm hearing that the Xbox One X is a huge improvement over the OG Xbox. Of course, and the main thing also, aside from all the graphical power, is you can actually put it sideways, which is awesome. So we'll have to see. Uh, let's see. Did you see Justice League? Yes, I've actually seen it twice. I saw it for the second time matinee this morning um, with my producer buddy from Better Watch Out um, that I did that voiceover work for, which incidentally, that movie comes out on December 5th on Blu-ray. So if you guys haven't um, had a chance to catch that yet, um, I did some voiceover work for that movie. Better watch out. It's available right now on streaming, but obviously if you want to get a physical hard copy with some extra goodies on there, it comes out on uh, December 5th. So um, we went to go watch Justice League this morning. He hadn't seen it yet. I saw it premiere night, and I uh, wanted to go check it out again because the first time you see any of those movies, it's all about the spectacle. You want to get like you know all the graphics in. You want to just really just take in the fact that you're watching it. When you watch it the next time, which is what I did this morning, it actually comes out... Um, a little bit better in terms of the story. I actually was able to follow a little bit more of it because I was listening more intensely uh, to it there. But cool movie. I liked it. It just uh, had a few problems. It's not nearly as bad as anyone may be saying, um, but it's better than Batman versus Superman. And uh, by far, it was a really uh, just an entertaining flick. I loved it. I thought it was it was great, except for the Superman stuff, which I, I don't want to talk about just yet for people who haven't seen it just yet. So yeah. All right. So let's see here. Da, da, da. Hang on one second. All right, so let's see here. What else do we have here? Have face any movie, any videos went viral. Yes, actually the uh, the main one on my channel you'll probably see for popular uploads is my uh, Mac and Cheetos review that I did when that first came out a couple of years ago. That thing is like I think close to two hundred thousand views now. I think one hundred and ninety something. So that was one of my uh, my main ones there for sure. Good times, definitely good times. Uh, let's see, let's see, Morgan Mona, can you say my name so I can prove that I'm in the stream because my sister doesn't believe me? Yes, Morgana Mona. It's Morgana, like Leia Organa. Morgana Mona, you are definitely in the stream right now. Thanks so much for jumping on. A very happy pre gobble gobble to you. Let's peep this out. <laughs> Mike, does wifey ever go on live streams? Nope. She will not do it. She will not do it. It's it's hard enough lately to get her in some of my Disney videos. And I, I try and get her a little bit at the very end and I catch her eating stuff. So, yes. <laughs> it is what it is there. Uh, okay, cool. Right now, you can see the Green Lantern being in it very soon. I absolutely could. I'm not going to give anything away from the movie, but there's some cool stuff in it. Especially at the very end of the of the credits, there's, there's two things you're going to look out for at the very end of the movie. Jason Callen, what it do? Happy pre-gobble gobble. Very happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys. Okay, Mac and Cheetos with Ken went viral. Yes, 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 yes. He did his video. I was in that one as well. Good times. Says so Morgana Mona. Oh, my God. <laughs> he said, peep this out to me. Yes. Yes, I did. Peep this out. Peep this out. Are you celebrating Thanksgiving at your house, Annette Cervantes? No, I'm actually going to be going over to my sister's place. And uh, the reason I want to do that, obviously, is because she's a much better cook than I am. She's making a lot of amazing stuff. 
uh, for Thanksgiving, as well as the fact that um, she's the owner of my favorite pup, which is her dog, but we all take care of the pup, naturally. It's they, their main thing. Um, but I love the dog, and you may have seen in some of my Starbucks reviews, his name is Winston. He is absolutely awesome. <laughs> He's absolutely awesome. Uh, let's see. Jason Callen just saw The Room. It was awesomely bad. Wow, haven't seen that one. Haven't seen that one. Eric Reynolds, your wife looks like a sweetheart. She is. She absolutely is. Let's see. And that Cervantes, you should grab a Hawaiian roll and cut it in two pieces and put stuffy mashed potatoes and gravy. You know, we do actually have Hawaiian rolls on the table there, so that will be something I will try. Um, I'm all into the concoctions. I used to make when I was a kid spaghetti sandwiches, and that's something that I actually still kind of do today to some degree. I'm kind of ashamed to admit that. But uh, yes, 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 yes. Matthew Christopher, what's better, Mo's or Chipotle? Hello from Atlanta. Very hello to you as well, Matthew. Thanks so much for jumping on. You know, only because I've only done one Mo's review, and it was coming back from my honeymoon a couple of years ago when I was in Florida. We were actually in an airport, and they had a Mo's location there. So it wasn't, quote, unquote, the official Mo's, I guess. It wasn't a standalone. Um, I didn't get the, the queso, which I'm hearing is amazing. It was just an okay experience. But I, I love the, the fact that it um, really is, you know, tasty stuff there. So for me, Chipotle is by far... Uh, my favorite, only because I have so many of them available right now um, around me. The Room is a movie, and the new film The Disaster Artist is based on. Oh, cool. The Disaster Artist, I mean, has got some great reviews, Jason. i got to check that one out. Okay, did you already do the Oreo mystery flavor? Yes, I did. You can actually find some of my past streams that I usually put on my Patreon page at patreon.com slash peepthisout. You'll find some of my past content there. But the main content for food review stuff will always be right where you are right now. If you guys haven't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button on the upper side there. I think I'm pointing to the right spot up over there. That would be amazing. Uh, let's see. RDR, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Thank you. You as well. You as well, uh, Robert. I appreciate you jumping on, brother. Got to get some sleep before the feast tomorrow. There's going to be a whole lot of grubbing going on. That's all I have to say. All of you guys, for sure. Definitely. RDR Food Review is doing his thing over there. Go over there and um, definitely shout out Robert for sure. Definitely like, share, comment, and subscribe. He's uh, he's a good dude. Definitely doing some uh, some fun stuff over there. Uh, let's see. All right, guys. We're coming up on the last just few minutes over here. Let's see the last couple of things on here. Have I tried salted caramel Pepsi or the Mountain Dew Holiday Brew? You know, I haven't found those yet. I've seen some reviews kind of creep up online. Um, I really don't want to watch them just yet because I may check it out. And that's usually my MO. Um, I don't want to be influenced one way or another with them. So I'll have to see. Um, if I can find that, maybe we'll see about doing one of those for next week there. I'm kind of curious about the salted caramel Pepsi because that just seems kind of strange. Since it has caramel um, flavor in it anyway, I mean, that's Pepsi. It's cola. So, you know, it's kind of it's got to be a little a little sweeter than normal, I would think, there. The holiday brew, though, that's got to be something to try. Um, if I can find that, maybe we'll do that one over the other. Uh, let's see. Morgana Mona, are you going to wa read or watch Wonder read or watch wonder i'm planning to see the movie and i'm reading the original book and the sequel it's a good book i'm not sure what the movie is wonder i don't know if a word is maybe missing from that there uh, morgana but it probably means i'm not reading it because i'm currently not at the moment um, whatever that may be but to clarify that for me real quick uh, epic zombie killer what happened earlier oh man I just I went over that in the beginning there essentially just bad connection at Dunkin Donuts the Wi-Fi was not good my mobile connection was better but then nobody was there when I jumped back on so thought I'd come on home and do it officially for you in a controlled environment <laughs> so I'm here I'm here for you guys epic okay do I see the new Netflix series of Nightmare on Elm Street what a series with Freddy what am I missing here I have not heard of anything like that. Bus, great chat tonight. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Looking forward to more great content. Absolutely. A couple of things already in post-production that you'll see a little bit later into the weekend. Um, let's see. Need to work tomorrow. Disneyland will be busy. Yes, yes, yes. One of these days I'm going to meet up with you and say hello, my friend. Thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate it. All right. Let's see here. Hang on one second. All right, Jason, in effect, let's see what we got on here right now. We've got some cool packages from, from Norway, Reindeer. Very cool, very cool. What are your thoughts on the first few episodes of The Walking Dead Season 8? You know what? i got to say, Epic, it's one long, one episode. <laughs> I've, I've obviously read the comic book up till right now, and they're really 
taking that whole thing. Literally, I can see how they're going to be done with All Out War by the end of the season because they've they're got a good chunk of it finished already um, with what's going on. There's really not a lot of meat there except for a lot of combat. Um, so i got to be honest, some of the editing has been pretty bad on that. There's just a lot of scenes where you can see people getting gunned down in the line of fire, yet they're running around. It's not exactly... Um, great but i would say it's kind of cool to see some of the stuff from the page leap off the page onto the screen um but it's okay this last episode was actually really good looking forward to seeing how they're going to finish out mid-season uh don't have a good feeling about gabriel that's all uh let's see here going down the line last couple here guys before we go uh what are you doing great big daddy what it do man hope you things are going well with you it is great to see you on here. Thanks so much for jumping on as I'm finishing this one up here. I'm actually going to have this um, this stream available on my main channel as soon as this is done here. So I don't want to keep it too, too long. Um, but thanks so much for jumping on, Big Daddy, for sure. Uh, doing his thing as well. Different channel direction, different things going on there. But just uh, doing what's good for you. And that's the first and most important thing. Um, be happy with uh, what you're doing for sure, man. But thanks so much for jumping on. And a very happy Thanksgiving to you, man. Uh, for sure. Uh, an entire series on Nightmare on Elm Street, only on Netflix. Hmm, I have to check this out. I haven't seen or heard anything about that. But I appreciate that inform information there, Phil. Philly Feet, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Vengeance, what's your favorite obscure games? Wow, I wouldn't say obscure, but I'm a huge fan of Limbo. Um, I really enjoy the just the quirky noirness of it. <laughs> and I do play that pretty often. I have it on my phone. Um, and I usually replay a lot of the same types of levels because it's just so crazily weird to me. It's a, it's a classic game. Did a great job with that for sure. Uh, let's see. Did I like Justice League? Yes, I enjoyed it. Fun movie. Had some problems, but they did okay. I really want to see a different Batman now. I think I'm finally done with Ben Affleck in the role. Um, it just it needs to be a little different. I'm not into the costume design. I'm not into this version of it personally there. So um, we'll have to see what they do there. I'm really looking forward to a little bit more of a darker thing. But Batman, obviously, for Justice League, really feels out of place because... Aside from some combat sequences there, as a regular dude being <laughs> in catastrophic circumstances running with gods, it's kind of crazy to see, but it is what it is. I haven't seen Thor Ragnarok yet, Jason, but that's definitely on my list. I am so backlogged because of just my life in general right now and things that have been going on in my world. So I, it's, you know, aside from watching Justice League twice, um, I haven't had a chance to really do too much else aside from my regular activities there. But I do plan on it. I do plan on it. Yes, Inside, I have heard of that one. I have yet to give that one a shot there, Crazy Nick. I know that that's from the same producers of Limbo. Um, so we'll have to see eventually there. I think they actually have um, a version of Limbo that you can buy that has Inside with it, kind of like a compilation there. So we'll have to see if I can get down to it uh, for sure. So, guys, with that, I think I'm going to close this one out because I want to get this one chopped up so you guys can have access to the full, complete uh, review that I did in the very beginning. Uh, as well, for anyone who may have uh, tuned out from that point, they'll be able to kind of skip around this and maybe get some information, some insight into some things there. But I appreciate every single one of you guys for spending a little bit of your time pre-gobble-gobble, -gobble, uh, right before Thanksgiving here, for sure. Vengeance Rises, only two good Batman, Michael Keaton and Christian Bale. Ben Affleck is okay. I just don't think he's just the right fit um, for the role. I think he was really kind of bored with the role in this movie, to be honest. But um, I know the character is, you know, is larger than life, but it can be definitely honed a little bit better and you know obviously christian bale i think did an amazing job and michael keaton of course being one of the originators for the movie versions of batman we all know am i going to be watching the parade tomorrow probably on replay i usually i'm not up early enough because <laughs> i know the night before uh, i'm usually gaming tonight you know it's going to be it's going to be a, a long night of catching up on some fun things because honestly i really need a break um it, it's been long overdue even when i'm on a break i'm still making content for my channel and i love it um, but I'm definitely looking forward for these next few days to just kind of chill. And um, there's plenty of content that you guys have seen in the last few days, aside from the Disney content, which has been fun to do, um, which we'll talk about a little on a future stream there. I don't want to keep too many too much of it going on this one. But a lot of fun putting together um, the review, the Groot uh, bread, which was so much fun to check out, and obviously the uh, chicken and waffles. You guys can definitely check out the, the uh, videos down below. You'll find those. And then most recently is the Johnny Rockets Chipotle chicken sandwich. So a lot of fun stuff um, in there for sure. Sure. Good things, good things. So, guys, with that, 
I think I'm going to close this one out here right now. It is great to see all of you again. And uh, I got to be honest, you guys keep me sane. You guys keep me distracted from all the craziness in my world with everything. And I really am such a huge fan of you guys as well. And I really feel very honored and privileged that you guys really enjoy the content that I'm putting out there. Um, do enjoy the day tomorrow. Have all the good eats with all of your close family and friends. Um, don't eat too much. And of course, all the deals are going live tomorrow. For any of you guys who may be working retail on these days, um, definitely just you know stay hydrated, do what you need to do. Don't take anything personally from all the craziness of people coming in there. Um, but I commend you for doing what you do because I remember those days very, very well um, with that. So with that said, I'm going to close this one out here. And again, a very happy Thanksgiving to everybody on the stream right now. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me tonight. And as always, this is Ian K closing out another live stream here on the channel. Peep this out reviews. You guys will be able to find this video live here on the channel um, in about an hour or so. I'm going to try and get it done as quick as I can for you. Um, and again, I guess I will talk to you soon. And until next time, like always, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. You guys hear me say it all the time like a broken record. So until, you, until the next review coming up real soon, as I'm messing this up at the very end over here right now, we will definitely talk to you next time. Happy Thanksgiving and stay frosty.